up, everybody? Yet another episode of On the Table with me, Tepi. Your church girl. DJ Black Velvet. Hello, oh. hi, ladies and guests. I know how that could seem a little bit awkward, but today we've got the one and only Deborah Tabajan. And if you haven't watched her City Girls, I don't know what you're doing. We've got a City Girl right here sitting with us. How are you doing, Boo? I'm good. It's the mother of City Girls. Though. The mother Ooh. of Ooh. City <laughs> Girls. Get it right, girl. <laughs> the mother of all City Girls. If you're not so, watching City Girls, what are you what watching? What are you doing? What are you watching? What are you doing? So, look, welcome to On the Table. Thank you so and much. And on the table, we have a conversation. We discuss it, we put it on the table. Okay, a little bit different to City Girls, actually largely different to City Girls. Yes. But look, today we're hoping that we're going to marry the two together. Okay. All right. And uh, my name is uh, Nolene Maholona Sango. Let's start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. So let's get into it. Today, the conversation we're going to be having is body shaming. Right. Mm-hmm. And before we go any further, I need us all to stand up. And we're talking, we're showing our bodies. And when we speak today, we're going to be speaking on a perception of our bodies. With these, this is a table of four ladies, ghosts, they can't see you, but we see you. And we all have different shapes and sizes. And when we speak, we speak from where we come from. Cool. Would you like for me to start? I will start. This is my body. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when I speak about my body shaming, I'm speaking from where I come from. Right? Nolu? I thought we were going to do this together. I'm so triggered. Let's go. By Don't be triggered, honey. Oh, sorry. I stepped on my mic. This is my body. <laughs> normal body types, normal shapes. Let's go. Okay. So this is my body? Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Give me love. It's the outfit for me. Yeah, it's everything. So these are our bodies in its shape, in its form, however you like it, however you see it, this is us, right? And when we speak, there's no one in the comments. I, I literally urge you to not invalidate how we feel and to not invalidate how we look because it doesn't fit your standards or it doesn't fit what society or social media has depicted. All right. So, ladies, let's start. Let's start here. What is your perception or your thought or your understanding of what body shaming is? Just so we... Because there's many of us today on the table. Let's start this side. Body shaming to me is when people would make comments that are ultimately made to make you to make you feel negative about your own body. Not taking into account that that's the only body you have. Perhaps that's the body that you were born into. So if you're going to see me and say, or she doesn't have a neck or whatever, how, what am I supposed to do with that? Mm. Am I supposed to love myself any less? Mm. Am I supposed to want to change myself? Not that there's anything wrong with changing yourself and improving yourself and making yourself feel good. But it shouldn't be coming from a place that would make me want to stand in front of the mirror and feel like I'm not good enough because of that, that, that. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I believe body shaming starts from even, especially with black people, from home. Okay. From, from home, from the which already works on your self-esteem when you're a teenager, when you're young. They'll say, hey, hey, yeah. you know, mm, yeah. that, that, that is a start of, that's where it starts yes. from. Um, it's the lack of sensitivity about how we feel about our insecurities because women wake up one day, we wake up happy, we wake up sometimes feeling pretty. Today I woke up feeling hot, but yesterday I didn't. Mm. So, mm. also when it comes to our different body structures, as you said, is that now sometimes you'll be walking on the street and people will just be giggling because you've got a big ass. Mm. Or they'll be giggling because, bigger, you know, bigger thighs than them. Or you, you know, mm. uh, it's 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 very the whole the whole the whole concept is tricky is tricky. And the crazy part is that women body shame each other more than anything. No. Sure, we're the worst. Yeah, we're the worst. Uh, Nolu, sure, it's everything Debocho just said, and you know, I'm crying because mm. not that it's it's personal. But in as much as it is personal, it's scarring. You know, it's something that you take with you through life. And and as women and as people, our bodies change all the time 
You know, we get pregnant, we go through different things, you get depressed, there's hormones, there's pills that you take for different things, and your body changes. And people are not cognizant of how that, how those things that you put in affect how you will look and what they say affect how you're going to walk out of the door. I mean, you can have, your self-confidence can be on a hundred percent, but if you're going to walk out or if I'm going to leave home, but you you know, and you're saying it as a joke. But in all honesty, sometimes I want to wear a dress that's going to cover my ass so that people don't only see my ass. I wish I could sure. You know what I mean? Sure. So, in those oguti, umile kakbi, or umile njongo mama, and some, we say those things jokingly, but they are, but they are so the truth. Triggering. They are so true. That's what they would say. Mm. Ghost? For me, it's, it's invalidating someone's physical being. Mm. Now, if you go emotional about it, you're making it about yourself. Mm. But I, I really do think body shaming is not limited to women only. I think also Definitely. men go through that. And that's why we have you on the table. Because then you're able to, you know, yeah. to have that conversation. <laughs> and and me, let's it's just, talk about it's just that. In, it's just invalidating someone else's physical being. So... Let's talk about your, the experiences of body shaming. I've had my own experiences of body shaming. And as easy as it is for someone to say, oh, but you're skinny, so you're fine. That word, that word skinny is a problem, you know? Just in the same way, it's a, such a trigger, you know? Or, you, or toothpick or whatever, you know? We've had all these names when we were still, uh, when I was still younger, you know, I would be called anything under the sun, skinny malinky, mosquito, whatever you, you call it. I was it, you know? And you get to a point now, you're much older, and it's still a little bit of a, like you said, you know, you couldn't stand up alone because you felt, mm. oof, you know, you don't have that confidence you to do so. Pressure. Yes, yeah. and just because you are thin, you kind of assume that, no, it, it should right. be, yeah, it should be a no-brainer. You right. should be able to stand up and, and everything be fine. Yeah. It's a social construct. Let's talk about your body shaming experiences, ladies. The one that, let's talk about the one that hit deep. The one that hit deep, deep for me, it wasn't even me. So, uh, I used to work in corporate and there was this girl that I was so close to. She had a beautiful body. But she had, and I'm not saying but because there's anything wrong with that. She had big um, cows. Yeah. Elephant Nana. feet. Yeah. And she was so beautiful. No matter what you said to her, no matter what you said, you will say, Umundle, you look stunning. She ended up going to gym and she lost the weight. And when she lost the weight, she lost the cows too. But... What hit me the most, we had a female boss and she was the one who would constantly make comments. No she made comments about how she looked, about her calves, not even just about her, about other females in the department. She would say things like, um, you don't look like a person who should be in this department. Not knowing what would that mean, does it mean I'm not light enough, I'm not skinny enough, I'm not tall enough, or whatever the reason was. But she made that girl feel ugly each and every time she would mention her legs. There was nothing wrong with her legs. But coming from a woman to another woman, it was painful to watch and witness. That was my most painful body shaming experience. The normal one is about my skin tone. People Never forget to remind me. Beautiful skin tone. Yeah, they would tell me, Omontu, 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 or even family, like you say, as you grow up, Man you're playing with other kids, <laughs> somebody does something just because you're the darker one. It's Hanale and Omontu. So that. <laughs> <laughs> That's See, we love it. Yeah, we love We love But really, in hindsight, you're like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like memories, Sam. Yeah, you're yeah. toxic. But I mean, you, you were know. guilty by virtue of you being. <laughs> A, a, Dark. a darker shade. Yes, you do. You case. do wrong things because you're dirty. Yeah, no one so Yeah, but how did you do it? But how did you do it? How much more must I do on my hand? You're quite vocal about what you've done, you know, and you're quite vocal and very open with your body. Mm. I can still imagine you get body shamed. 
It's not exempt. I don't care how much you could have done and how much you couldn't have done. I can't imagine you still get body shamed. See, the level of confidence that I'm on now, I feel like body shame me then. I hate, you know, when I look at the mirror, I'm like, but girl, you look good. So they can body shame me. People do, do that all the time. But a lot of them, it's based on their insecurities. Mm. Yeah. It's, a, it's based on insecurities. You'll be flying high, someone will put you down. Okay, Labana, you'll walk out of the house. You'll be walking out of the house wearing this nice outfit, feeling yourself. Mm. One person can just say something that will put you down. Mm. And that person could be somebody who's just also having a bad day and is just trying to kill you. So I feel like also, um, age also helps with confidence. Mm. We need to start with our girls at a young age and yeah. speaking to them about confidence. I remember being f- f- 13, 14 and I always had a big bum. And... Um, I look at my body then. I'm like, why didn't I get in the pool with a bikini? Yeah, she's string. Mm. Yeah. Okay, now. Now at my age, I want to do that. But yeah. then when I had the body, I was like, but because I was, I went to a white school where having a big bum was, Ooh. we were fat. Mm. Yeah. I would put a t-shirt on and swim uncomfortably in a t-shirt. Yeah. But if at that young age, my mom or my dad would have told me, well, yay, you are beautiful as you are. I probably would have carried it more. Mm. And enjoyed my nice body at 13 instead of only later now realizing, good, okay, I actually do look good. Without wanting to mm. hide it. Yes. So much. I've it. seen even with my son. Um, they, they, they have, like when you're a teenager, you're scared. You just need to be told that you're beautiful. Yes. You are handsome. Be confident because you'll find pretty little girls not wanting to swim. At the, I tell my little nieces, can I hot bear These legs, yes. they're not going to be there forever. We need to start with our kids from a very young age. I actually remember that. Uh, um, a quick one, Nolo, before I go to you. My mom. My mom used to narrap beside this tofi, honey. And sheer stuff. And we, when we were kids, and my mom used to say to me, Enjoy. Like, what else do you, you know, mm. what else do you feel like you want to wear? About and she said, mm. if, Hunt, uh, even Datua Bua, Datua has a problem. This was way before, you know, this, we've titled it feminism yeah. or, or whatever the case may be. And I just thought, and in hindsight, I think, shit, my mom was quite progressive. Yes. Because she would say, why wouldn't you want to wear a sheer top? What's, what's wrong with you? But like, what's wrong with you? King, problem, problem, yeah. you know? And she'd say, Bana must dress like kids. Yes. And if a man sees it in any other way and says, that, that is too short. Or, hi, Ribona, what are you looking at? Come on. Come on, I'm enjoying body. You know, that's it's very important. I tell my niece, my niece is in fits, beautiful legs. Don't come to my house. I put a kiba. Get a hot pen. Kiba. Okay, you know she'll wear something to cover her body. Yeah. The hottest legs I've ever seen in my life. When she goes out with me, when I have hosting gigs, I came off her shorts, the stomach yeah. out. Kiri, look hot. You're not doing this for men. You're doing it for yourself. That you must enjoy this body while it's still young and. Because later, the older you get, it's the harder. Yeah. It is, as you said, hormones, After babies. One No, I mean I I, I did my tummy. At the age of 31, after I had my baby at 24, that's, I did that like, because I was like, I'm not confident. That's yeah, the only yeah, reason. Yeah. You know, I was like, Mm-mm. I want to be, I want to wear crop tops. I want to look nice. And I, I have not feel wearing, nice. stop, stop wearing crop tops since then. And I'm probably going to wear them till I'm 50. <laughs> Because why not? I didn't pay for it to hide it myself. You, know, my body shaming experience, I think it started um, when I was in primary and particularly around my boobs. So I've always had big boobs. Like, I, to an extent that at some point I, I used to wear two bras. I literally would yeah. wear a bra and then a sports bra. Sure. And then I would feel like, okay. Now they are. You know? together and then and I, I I still hate bikinis to this day and easy mm. you know but now a bikini now I see which actually it's a preference thing I don't really like them generally mm-hmm. I like a full bather but I'm on the g-string thing because I do really love my butt yes you know but it it was a thing over also the parents I feel like kukbane mixed signals yes, yes. because they can say you hi out there then bati Okay, but too much. Then, but, no. But then at the same time, but be hot and they say you must be confident in wearing that. That time, but city, how you be like hot? Does he go cut your gang? Okay, okay. You eat too much, and then but if I get hot pen, but you supp- are you not supposed to tell? I, I don't know. Maybe I might get into trouble for this. But if somebody is eating too much, are you not supposed to tell? Okay, okay bring how it do down. you know I'm eating too much? Is it on the basis of my body? Uh, yeah, is maybe on, the, on 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 maybe a health 
it should. No, no, no. I, I'm gaining weight. Yeah. Uh, if but you gain it, you have it. Because oh, oh, judge too much. Oh, wow. okay. No, but yeah. so that how do you... She grew up thin, scrawny, and whatever. But if people would, no, if body shame life, try even no, like scrawny. <laughs> oh my! And then it's the words, then, right? Like, yes. Shit. They <laughs> hate dog scrawny. Scrawny. So you grew up scrawny. Might as well call me Biltong. Yeah, I was young, Biltong, and mm. you know we. <laughs> Yes, egg. Yeah, but this is the pro- the this problem. Is is here. Exactly. This is where these This is where the problem exactly. is. That's my point. That's my point mm-hmm. exactly. Uguti, these things are said in these manners, and we laugh about them. Yes. And then we say, "Go out there and be confident." How? You like oh, I'm sure though, Shem. <laughs> without <laughs> even putting no, without putting oh, the sham. Put your oh, I'm sure. 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 So, when we talk about societal standards, né, and we, we're all on Twitter, we all consume Twitter, uh, whether you are part of it or not, you see it, right? And there's this, for me, it's quite confusing. I don't know what Twitter standards are when body, where body is concerned, right? The one minute it will be the type that is popping, you know. The one minute it will be no loose type that is popping. And the issue is with media consumption we want to be what society deems pretty and sexy and good at that time right so when now they say Debucho's body is the one to go to I'm trying to now get Debucho's body but next week they change and they say no lose body the next time they change they say and then they say my body if they say my body you're fucked because that means you're starving Quite honestly. I've got to starve. Because then what happens? Mm. You know what I mean? So when we talk about societal standards, guys, where do we fucking draw the line? Magazines need to draw the lines. Um, it, you know, it's it's what we are fed in the media. That are we still draw. consuming magazines though? We're still consuming a lot of media. But it's, mag- it's media. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sorry. I guess also it's even media. us on Instagram. Yes. Yeah. Kim, Kim Yo, Instagram. Yeah. 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 Digital. Yeah, Digital. they aren't any as much physical sales as they used to be, but they're a contributing factor to how women perceive themselves. And also, the conversation literally isn't only limited to women. Like I keep saying, mm. they will never have like an overly... Sized. A, a guy bod. who's not a dead bot on a cover. They wouldn't necessarily have that. And a dead body has tampali biri. I'm not talking about a dead body, mm. six young jimming, no. I'm talking about someone who's fairly careless. They won't because it's not appealing to the masses. And that is social conditioning. Social it's conditioning. adhering to social ideologies. Mm. But then in the same breath, guys, our mannequins, right? Let, let's make an example of even mannequins, right? And then they put mannequins and they say, there we go. This is the item of clothing. And we buy it based on how it looks on this mannequin. And this mannequin is a size 28, 26, right? And then there is a, someone who is much bigger than that who's buying the exact same thing, hoping it will look the exact same way. When we go to the magazines and these things that you consume, it's sold on a size 28 model. Right when we're looking at Zara example, it's it's sold on a twenty six model. There's no way where I've seen a plus size on the Zara catalog. Mm. Right, mm. so is it because not it's because it's European? It's it's, a, it, it's here now, but it's most ap- appealing to European markets. The European brand, so, so Europeans have that skinny structure. So not but, necessarily Zara. It's, not, it's not isolated in to term, Zara. In, in okay, let's just say. Well, I'll say this in fashion. Europeans set the tone. We know this. Mm-hmm. But also fashion includes, it, it includes, um, I will say, body type because if you're more skinnier, that's the more, if a blouse is asymmetrical lining. If you're more thicker, <coughs> the asymmetrical lining won't show. So Yo, that's what... War, war so, 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 eh, like, so, what do you think? hanga. Basically. So, hanga never ever because it was touch a Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So, 
you have to be like a hanger, skinny size, hanger size. You can yeah. see the structure. You can the see clothes. the silhouette. You can see the clothes clothes structure. More so, and I'm part of the problem, I get. So I'm part of the problem, and I admit my problem. Mm. If an item of clothing example was sold on a plus size model, and I don't know whether it's because I'm smaller or because generally I've been conditioned, I wouldn't necessarily find it appealing. As opposed to if it was bought, if it was, if it's on a size 28. That's why I'm saying to you, I don't know whether it's a conditioning of society or it's the fact that I'm small and I see myself in a, in a small, you know, do you know what I mean? Conditioning. It's conditioning. conditioning. It's conditioning. It's like propaganda, how they've thought us, to, like how they put these kind of thoughts in our minds. Like yeah. That long weaves are beautiful. Skinny is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, medium. Uh, now now big bums are appealing, but it wasn't. We we well, that's what we consume. That's what we know. Because half of us here, are you trying to that's tell me none of us have conformed to a trend? We've all conformed. We've all do. It. We're still conforming to trends. We're still mm-hmm. com- and we're still gonna constantly still do it. It's Yo. about building what you have inside. No, when you talk about conforming to trends, you remind me of a time when I was in primary school and remember I was being teased about my skin tone. I remember buying lemon light ki kopan sali spirit. Honey. Jaw drops. Honey. Just so that I could be a shade lighter. You really could have just exfoliated every day. I didn't know I was a kid. Still not going to make you lighter. I was a kid. Lemon light ki spirit. Yes, I was a kid. I didn't know. I didn't know better. And you could have explained lemon light is supposed to make you look lighter. <laughs> got that face. And I just mixed the two, made a concussion. Who told you about that? Kids, other kids in school. Other kids would be like, Chomi, na kids are my lemon lights. The other one, na Chomi kids are my pawns. Who were told oh, by their sisters? They, by their who were told by their mothers. sisters. Others were even putting light brown, the polished kiwi on their faces just to look. Yeah, but that thing used to work. I remember my cousin, she was dark and she used to put kiwi in it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> na nasna, nasna to blemish. <laughs> But what I remember her skin. Hey. No, she had the best skin. No, the way she I remember. Well, I mean, I mean, she's old and she died, but I don't think she didn't die from the kiwi. It must be the kiwi. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a fuse yeah, from the kiwi. Is that the kiwi? My kiwi, queen, I was like, I was like, ah. Her name was Manina. I was like, Manina, my skin's so innocent. I was like, kiwi, kiwi keeps your shoes. Protect your skin. 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 Yes. To try and make ourselves look and feel better according to what society go- deems, even with our bodies, right? And then there's, look, I'm even fucking considering it, I kid you not, is doing a BBL. Do it. And I don't have enough fat, but I'm out here on some fuck. I'll give you some of mine. You can't. Bring it. <laughs> you can't use another person's fat. <laughs> like, I, I could say, I could show. It, because you can't. You have to use your own fat. It's, it's not a blood transfer. So you can't, so... You, I mean, that means everybody, we would just call me, Chubby, please borrow me fat. Then I'll just be like, okay. Borrow it, girl. I don't have enough. enough. And, and only because there's this perception of, there's, there's thick, there's the what, what. There's, you know, yo, you guys must have a role. You must have a what. You must have, I'm like, I also kind of want to conform to this. But why do we want to all look the same? You know, this is what p- mm. pisses me off. Mm. I'll see a gorgeous girl and she'll look at my body and she'll be like, I want to have my body. Can I, I don't want to look like all of you guys. Why can't we all look like Different. ourselves? Mm. Yeah, but everybody will be like, I'm getting a BBL, so we're all gonna walk around with big bums and we're gonna look weird. Uh uh-uh, uh, but I get this natural BBL spell. Let's get another girl for a little bit. We are holy. Oh, what is natural BBL? Natural BBL. No, 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 but what I mean, natural BBL okay. is the one where you don't necessarily. Okay, Baba, just pick me up a bit. Just like a, This is a natural lipo for me. So. What, what is so what I'm trying to say is in size. So I'm speaking about my body size. So you speak about, no, just. Just. Cinch me up just a little bit, you know, not to. So, what about Jim? <laughs> <laughs> you, you're gonna piss me off, girl. I am there every day. <laughs> and I'm doing it with trainers, too. And I don't even think. And I can see difference in your thighs. Oh, I love, I'd love good pair of thighs. Let's let. <laughs> Trigger warning. Yeah. <laughs> Trigger warning. So someone tweeted right the other day, and I can't remember her name, but I remember the tweet vaguely, so I'm going to paraphrase it a bit. And she was saying, South African girls get BBLs because 
they want to be confident. They want to feel confident and also they want to take up their social media engagement. They like the right. right? And then she said, American girls get BBLs to get your NFL players because that's who they that's who NFL players I mean, are attracted I'll, to. I mean, I would love an NFL player. Do you think there's any truth to that statement? I just think anybody gets their body done for themselves to feel confident. I don't think you're out here like, yo, oh, I'm going to get go to lipo so that I'm going to get an NFL player. I think you're like, I'm tired of looking at myself like this and this is what I need to do to fix it. I think that is the reason. No, Kobusa? Not Feels another way for me. So uh, I watch I a lot of these reality television shows, and there's one, Kiama Twins, Darcy and Stacy, or something, and they are white. Ne? And yo, listening to those women talk about why they're getting surgery every now and then. If it's not their lips, it's their nose. If it's not their nose, it's cheeks. If it's not cheeks, it's breast bumps. It's, it, it gets to a point where when you watch them, you feel sorry for them simply because you understand that growing up, they were made to believe that they are not beautiful. They were made to believe that they will never keep a man, keep a marriage, get because a job of how they look. because of how they look. Some of them go to the extremes that they end up not even looking like themselves anymore. But you know, surgery is also addictive. Once you, it's it's like renovating a house. Once you finish oh. with one, are you addicted? What do you mean? I, I mean, I think the question is, <laughs> I'm not addicted. It, I just, have... I just have like, you know, a lot of my friends will say to me, "What do you need to do?" I'm like, well, I really have nothing to do, um, but what? I enjoy a little bit of Botox and fillers so that I stay looking young. I don't feel like aging is a priority for me. I feel like aging is an option, and you can choose to do it or not to do mm-hmm. it. And I don't, I don't want to look. Old, ever, ever. Do you have? A, do you have <laughs> right now where you are? Do you have a procedure? What? What? Do you have a procedure that you potentially thinking about doing, irrespective yes. of the negative or positive feedback that you're getting from your audience? I mean, I want to. Like, I realize the older you get your thighs, they become more thunder thigh. Not thunder thighs. I'm um, getting cellulite, mm-hmm. and um, because I have the you're opportunity. Right. I, I used to have like a V on my leg, you know, but yes. now okay, but now, no, it's it's just getting a bit more saggy. Yeah. Mm. So I'm considering getting skin tightening because I hate gym. Mm. So you have, and I'll be honest about I it. I saw your video where you were running and I was like, <laughs> she doesn't like gym. I don't like gym. I just don't, it's, my bums are heavy. I don't like running. It's just, it's, it's a lot, just, it's, it's a, a lot for me. Did you I don't, say your bums are heavy? I mean, Guys, yeah. I mean, they're, 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 they're not, you feel them. Some yeah, people, yeah. you just don't feel them no, because you, they're you part do, of your body. It's like, no. it's like no. How is it that you can't run in them, but you can walk? Mine grow every year. I think so. So is it, tell me, I'm very curious. About the heavy bums? Yes. Like, do you feel, how am I like, <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, you're carrying something. It's not like it's like invisible. No, but because I'd assume because it's on your body, it's as it's as easy no. as it's my hand. No, it's like or it's as easy like as. Race, but if you have something, if you're holding an, a, 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 a one liter on your hand, you can feel the liter must. But I'm holding so something. Yeah, I'm not bump. necessarily. No, you feel it. But if you gain, you feel it. You know, you know. I, I'm the opposite of you. I love the gym and I love going crazy at the gym. But there's one thing I don't like at gym. The one class, Zumba. Zumba. All the time. So everything is moving. So you. Everything is moving. Other fat or whatever. Because I mean, Zumba is more relaxed. Zumba is more cardio, right? Yeah. And I imagine that anyone who does cardio is trying to lose something. Yes. Yes. And that's what I meant by that's where you let go. You no, no, don't no, try no, no. Hold it in, because you're not going to achieve cardio. anything. I enjoy all other forms of cardio, but it's Zumba. But I don't know what I'm saying. I know. I'm even talking about heavy. Yeah, like your boobs, your, your bumps. You feel them, and your boobs get uziva on your back. 
Shit. Same thing with the bum. I feel like you feel it on your knees. No, my knees, my knees. Your knees. It's my knees. Your bum weighs on your knees. I feel like (laughs) geographically, biologically, I'm unable to. Because you're balancing with your 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 legs with your. I don't know. I want to know. You also balance. You also balancing. So you don't feel your boobs. They're just nasty. Chilling. Look. So there's nothing heavy on you. I don't feel it. And 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 look, I'm speaking. (laughs) <laughs> my knees won't let no, my knees won't come back up but look I, I remember a time where you know maybe my boob will go from a C to a little bit a little bit grow a bigger you know and if I take off my gym bra example I'll mm. yeah. and you know before your periods you will feel that yes it's you know and you're just like mm. and it feels but I don't think it's heavy enough for me to, and, I, and I, that's why I'm so curious and I ask really out of curiosity more than anything that how does it feel and I see women who say I went for my breast reduction I went for whatever whatever I wouldn't mind a, bear, a butt reduction yeah yeah I, because I would want I would do it I think maybe in five years time I, in five years time I would I think I wouldn't want to be a 50 year old with such a big bum and because mine consistently grows my hips I would reduce it does it weigh on your quality of life if you feel I mean, to a certain extent, quality of life and the way you dress, I would probably wouldn't want to be wearing such, you know, altering my clothes at that age. The things you can physically do. You do the things you can physically do. I feel like it really weighs down on your knees, like whereby sometimes I feel like my ankles are getting swollen, you know. My aunt, who is about, who I take after genetically, her body, she had to lose weight because mm. because she had such big hips. Like you look at the hips like this. That's a hip. That's mm. a hip. Mm. So, you know, I, I for health reasons I would get a reduction eventually okay. because it's it's it, it it weighs on you and it, and it's like breasts. Once you have breasts, they don't stop growing, right? Yeah, it's the same as hips as well. Oh my. So you work extra hard to to sort of lose the weight so that it doesn't weigh on. Yes, especially the part really? that you pay attention to. You see, I think the difference between you and us is that can be you're not paying any attention to. Tell me your boobs or your butt. Or flexy, man. You know? But T, oh, not because... to be flexing in other departments. But, <laughs> 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 but T, not who have insecurities and feel a certain way. We feel when we have gained weight and we feel, oh, you know, good, there's a change now. I'm feeling heavy here and this. Now when I go up the stairs, whoop, my bum is no longer tight. A uh, ghost? Circling back to body shaming. Mm. Do you ladies think that if someone is body shaming, do you think it's more, where, where do you draw the line from preference and body shaming? Because I really Ooh, can say, yes, you're right, preference. If, yeah, in the case that I'm body shaming, I can say, okay, on maybe, this is what I see a lot right? on, maybe say like a dating site or grinder. Grinder. <laughs> 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 All right, say it all together. Okay. Yeah. She's that kind of girl. Um, say grinder. Um, and you'll find people who say, um, you know, skinny, like chubby or fat guys to the to the back or the, to the left. For me, when I read, it's like, the fuck is going on? It, it, to me, it reads as body shaming. But to him, he's just communicating his preference. But, but I'm not trying to get with a thick sister. Preference. I think that's the bottom line. Okay. You can Yo, I was very much once told that I'm I'm not someone's preference and I'm not his type and we're together. I mean, someone said, <laughs> I'm just like, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> but, but I just think that, you know, maybe he prefers I, I a little more thicker people. body type. I want to know type. from guys, do, do guys, I mean, there's, there's a bunch of guys here. I mean, we're talking about heavy particles. Laimelobashiman. <laughs> Down there, that, would it get to that point? Say so you've got a big. Di- oh, I mean, a big what? You relate? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just hanging, and that's and, that's and where the term it. comes. So what happens when it's? Do, do they feel it? Do I don't think they the feel their things. You don't, you I don't. think they're there. They're like Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's not talk South African men. Let's talk about the ones who have to. <laughs> no, guys, South African men. So, ladies, where is where is it? Guys are okay. Um, you. When do you really decide? Because it's a decision thing where you, you draw the line between its preference and at this point, it's body shaming. I think that we should stop this thing of there is preference in life. That's why you like bread with butter or bread without butter. We're allowed mm. to talk about our preference. Thank you. Yeah. I think that's a fact. So now we can't all be so 
extremely sensitive that you can't even have a preference because it's about no yeah. Yeah. if I'm on a dating site let me cut you off if you have a uh, like a bigger tummy um, kaba, say it. Um, kaba. or if maybe you're a man and you know you look at it and maybe I'm into yellow but I'm into Drake mm. and you're not Drake please let's cut it so that before you even DM me what's about who you don't have an option yeah. we're allowed to have preference let's not be overly sensitive and be like oh uh I can't have a preference because I must now. Now you must serve yeah, to everybody. You must take everything. Hi yeah, guys. I hear what you're saying, but with the issue of yeah, preference, I feel hurry. It's your preference. I get a good choice how, but don't make your preference my problem. Keep it to myself. Yeah, keep it to yourself. Like Tepi's point, she dated a person who told her that you're not my type. For or instance, preference. Or preference. For instance, but he's if open minded like that. If orata banyana ba marahu. I get over the banana and lemara, Jola Levana Bamara, Bana Bana Tavana Speck, Bana Bana Speck, Bana Munda, Ota Trela, Una di Mutu Hul, also, Oma, no, and only everybody at Jolene Bana, Mara, Jolali, O, O Musani, Ahona Speck, guys. They can speak again, speaking specifications. <laughs> Don't get out of the only spec they have is Pussy. It's Pussy, yeah. and it's all about the charms or what happened that day <laughs> and the opportunity. Leading to. Leading to. And. <laughs> I've I've sat with men saying to me, baby, na kara tadi bunu fela. Abo na banyada baski. Mar, you hear who was saying that skinny girl? Uta takona. Uta takona. I'm dear. How is that thing? Don't let on. Keep kissing me now, na kona. Refresh really too. Well, I don't shop at Castina, so I speak. You should be like, I'm so sorry. I also saw. But does that not ever lead to self body shaming? As a woman, it does. You mean you're a thick girl? You've been cheated on with a skinny girl, or you're a skinny girl? You've been cheated on with a thick girl. How we cheat or we marry? Because I'm not thick. I'm not skinny. Oh no, I don't. I don't. I really. I, it's just fat has become a problem. I don't have the so an issue. Hasn't. No, I don't have an issue with using the word fat. It just had socially. It just like it seems like. So skinny is socially acceptable? I, I just, I merely truly ask really? because I've always had that issue with the word skinny. skinny and jeans. it's only ever so thick. I'm going to put thick here yeah, because... Go through so this month's issue of Vogue on page 16. What makes skinny, skinny people feel better? That's acceptable. <laughs> you tell us. <laughs> <laughs> like you can ask us It's that. a word in the dictionary for thin. thin? Fat is a word in the dictionary as well? For yeah. But, but it has a very really negative connotation. It's yeah. it's, it really is. It has a, it has a connotation. Huh? The word fat has a connotation. Skinny I can say, nah is what I'm asking. I'm saying no, to you, go through folk, page the 16, there is skinny. Okay. So skinny it is the acceptable way socially. Apart from the way you've been conditioned, the way I've lived it and I've taken that word. Skinny? Yes. So what do you want to be called? It's slim, maybe. Okay. That's, a, that's, that's educating. Let's Slender. start there. Slender? Yeah. Like slender? Slender band. Petite. <laughs> Never gets tired. Petite. Petite is nice. You, use your adjectives. No, you're petite. I can't, you can't say I'm petite. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking skinny and tall. That is not petite. Petite so is So you see, I suppose now that's guy. the problem because exactly. he's someone skinny. else won't mind being called fat and someone else will. And that's how the word makes them feel. You're fine with being called skinny because you and I are slim, right? I have an issue with being called slim with, with being called skinny because it's how I, really I take the word. I don't think you're that slim though. Like Thank you, you keep you keep calling right word. You know, <laughs> I don't think <laughs> I appreciate you, you keep you keep owning the slender slender. slender. You actually have like a good structure. I don't think you're like He's skinny. What's a bad structure? Oh, you see, why are you rolling your Everything eyes when you say that? This is a word me. you had what? no yo, 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 yo. Here's, here's the thing. I'm rolling my eyes. <laughs> and and, and this way, I was leading to the, the question of self-body shaming. Because it is a thing and it, it is reality. Um, it, people regard me as skinny. But in my head, I'm just like, oh, you need to run for 10 days. You're thick now. You know, exactly. You'll pop your eyes out. Yes, but... <laughs> I feel the way you don't see it, but I feel it. And hence, it speaks to, that's what I was leading to with the question of self-body shaming. When do you, when is it 
Is it when is it body dysmorphia? Exactly. I think now that what is a line? Where when you look in the mirror, it it dysmorphia is is a constant thing with women. We always have body dysmorphia. We're so dysmorphic, and men too. But I just think men don't choose not to communicate body dysmorphia. It's a and I always keep going back to it's a mental thing, guys. It's a mental thing. You can buy the body, I always say, but you can't buy the swag. You have the body, but you'll still dress like that girl that you thought. That you were. That you were. That you were. When you look in that mirror, you'll still see that girl. You'll still hide the roles. It doesn't matter. It's all in the mind. You know, I was I was actually thinking about something this morning when when I was thinking about this topic. Uguti, you know, there's there can be a girl who's the same size and who looks probably more or less like my size, but she can rock a crop top and look so good. Like Yes. Yeah, yeah. And looks so killing it. Devon Kogo, Hanataba. You know, the faggy crop top. And it's like, yeah. the one woman in the industry that has made me feel so beautiful with my saggy boobs. Because... She has saggy boobs? Who, me? Devon Gogo. Well, not saggy as in saggy, She's but natural... Natural breast. Natural, natural breast. Droop. Natural droop. Yeah. Like, she would rock that natural droop and a bona. So it's nothing. And she looks good. She looks... Ooh, juicy. I'll say something. There's nothing that makes me happy as... A happy, thick, voluptuous woman who is comfortable with her body. Um, we took a holiday, Le Thick Leons. Mm. Literally, we spent like maybe a couple of days together. Um, we went to Nisna. Well, now she's going to know who you are, but uh, Les, here we are. Well, yeah. Carry on. And, but we, we had such a good time. And literally, that entire time, as she is, she was the most naked person out of all of us. Mm. We we were we were in a house walking barefoot. Everyone was just comfortable with their but and that is what you, I think that is how a woman should I feel. Think wearing mm. confidence is sexy. Yeah. I think that's where it leads to wearing not confidence. limited to your body. body. We'd love to body morphia. Morphia. And we'd love to get to that point like how does one get to that point where you love yourself and you wear your self love, self confidence out because like really as I say if somebody like thick Leonce if they can wear a crop top and rock and and like you can see what she's rocking this thing I, and she's my size and I don't even see that she's my size but I see how good she looks she and I see I on the other side and I'm like but girl no to get to the point where I'm at about my skin shade my height whatever I started with shutting out the voices literally every time a person would say when I was so, my always my answer would be, "Okay, keep getting, keep getting, keep getting." But I also what feel I must like, do with myself. What my, and it changed. I love the fact that my answer has also changed how some of my family members are now addressing those kind of situations. Yeah. I, I I had an aunt who would constantly be so insecure about her legs. She would say, "Oh, can I let me not talk? Can I let me not talk to her?" And I'd be like, "Okay." So, because you can rock your dress. Yeah. And go. Oh, it's a Kenya If that will make you feel better. I'm going to be spending so much time with her, by the way. Yeah. 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 Do you think this body <laughs> shaming is something as as vocal as we are now about mm. our opinions and as much as we are able to shut people out and call people out even on Twitter for being body shamers? Mm. Do you think this is something that will stop in the near future? Never. It's mm. a thing, basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, Just like apartheid. Apartheid is very little. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. The impact of the, the feeling of how it makes you feel, it will eventually stop once you've learned how to deal with it personally. Like she said, it's all in the mind. You need to start looking at yourself different. If you don't love the body that you're in now, yes, I get it. It's because of one, two, three. Who must? When is Unolu, you don't... And I understand. I completely get it. But then who must? Mm. You're already fighting battles. You're already fighting social media battles. And this is what beauty is. <laughs> You're fighting family battles mm. of this is what beauty is. Mm. And now you must now have be at war with yourself. Mm. At, at some point, you need to accept that you can't be at war with yourself. Let the world, let the world be at war with how you look and whatever. But mm. it's none of your business. 
you need to be at peace and love who you are. Loving who, who you are doesn't mean Uguti. It, for me, it's acceptance. I will change it. Or when I can afford to change it. But I'm not going to change it because you are making me feel bad about it. Mm. This is who God created. And this is who I am. So deal with it or move the fuck out of my way. Oh, I think I the, was move, about the to move say, the fuck out of the way is important. <laughs> move the fuck out of my way. Let me just do my thing and carry myself. If you have an opinion about how I look, fuck keep it to yourself. Opinion. Unless it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's injuring my health or it's, it's affecting the price of petrol. Just keep it to yourself. <laughs> mm. No, L- let me walk confident. If the buntaka they're popping out or or I'm wearing a crop top and a kuna like display, just like, kitsa ka. And try to keep a confidence. Yeah. I think we should leave people yeah. that confidence yeah. about. Yeah. Mm. You know, we should leave leave people that confidence. It's always about. a reflection of how. Not personally, I feel like it's always a reflection of how those people who are shamers view themselves. It's, it's a, a reflection, reflection on you. them now because this is how they feel about themselves. They don't feel They're good projecting. enough about themselves. They project it on you. So imagine to Tebuchos' point that we need to start doing it with our kids. Basale mm-hmm. mm. I call them out. I have two. Ki- I've got two biological kids. One is lighter. One is darker, like me. I call it out. They would say, "Hey, mansu, mansu." Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do that. Yes, you're right. We're, as mama was protected by So what? Don't do that. Kingwana, don't make that kid now. Even like the little one, it's even worse because Unanali issue ya men. So her teeth would rot because of infant formula, little bottle, and whatnot. Yeah. Now we are dealing with it. But you, as an adult, to keep coming back to a child, mm. Zoro, what are you doing to a yeah, child? As an adult, like, and what must a child do? What kids. must a child do? And it's me the the worst. Busy. Body shaming, it's always adults upon kids. Mm. It's always mm. women on women. It's always, well, mostly women on other men. But come on, guys. It definitely is, is women on men as well. I mean, yes, it's women are brutal when it comes to men. Nolu, your last parting shots? Let's be mindful of what we say. Yeah. Ghost? Kindness. Body shaming is... It's always going to be there because we live in, we socially, there's social ideologies. It's going to be there. My thing is, accept your own, be your own, and there's nothing that's going to give you peace like just living your fucking life. Filthiest life, man. Mm. Filthiest life. Simple. Thank you so much for joining us. Mm. Mother of all city girls. City girls. What can we expect from city girls going I'd forward? city girl tonight. Today, yeah. uh, well, um, you know, you gotta be a city girl every day um, <laughs> until until you retire, as Meg said. Lifestyle. But um, city girls is about to it's it's popping right now. The next we're having a conversation about sex workers and strippers, and um, and then I'm also bringing in a black owned cosmetic brand leading to what we're talking about that mm. black owned cosmetic brand, international brand that is coming. We're gonna speak to a woman who's a millionaire. I speak to very powerful woman I speak to you know mm. as I always say baddies but mm. baddies in different elements yes yeah. we, baddies doesn't have to be stay a new, winning just, 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 just stay winning just um, yeah. we want to change the mindset of women that you're not limited to just that one particular thing and if it's not for you it's okay it's yeah. okay if you're not a business woman it's okay if you want to be a stripper it's yeah. your as long yeah. as it's, if, if it if it's feeding you if it's financing you if it's the other word I can't use <laughs> Yes, you can. You can use any word here. If it's fucking you. Oh, no. <laughs> that word is on brand. Yeah. 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 You, need oh. you, need to, you need to stop shaming that too. Yeah, no, fucking is nice. Cheese curls. Yeah. Cheese curls are good too. <laughs> Cheese curls, curls are good too. Life, but anyway. <laughs> so if, if Our body's going to think we're dead at this point. Uh, yeah, no, no. Mine is like, who, who's this? Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. Um, so what is it? If it's not feeding you, fucking you, financing you, it shouldn't fucking bother you. Mm. Ooh, what? Love that. You, fucking you, fucking financing you, you, financing you. It shouldn't. Fucking it shouldn't bother fucking you. bother you. Little Live your life, city girls, bomb. and just do the things that need to be done for yourself. Period. Period. And so, that's there on there. That's on there. That's on there. You can definitely catch city <laughs> girls on the network. When does it come out? Often? It's coming out on Tuesday. We're gonna actually do two episodes a month for now. There we go. I know you people are craving. 
Maar het is ook niet de distributeurs af en toe. Because so. we booked in B. Yeah, and I get it. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> Thank you so I, much. It's, yeah. <laughs> Ladies, it's been awesome. Love the show. Of it's going to get bigger and better. Two. All right. Of On the Table. It's been great. My name is Seppi. Church Girl. Debo Khotabajani. DJ Black Velvet. <laughs> <laughs> the head bitch. Yeah. <laughs> In charge. Remember also to share your comments and your experiences on body shaming. We love reading your experiences. So please share them. Comment, like, subscribe. It's on the table. We are it.